<laughs> oh. <laughs> Oops. Good morning and a beautiful day to you. I hope you're having a smashing day. It is another beautiful day in Thailand. Now today we are sadly leaving Rayleigh Beach which has been great, it's been a nice experience. The beach was beautiful and quiet this morning, first thing before the day trip has arrived. Enjoyed an evening meal last night, a lovely quiet night's rest. But today we are taking the boat from Rayleigh Beach to Koh Lanta Island. I bought my ticket for the boat at one of the many little travel ticketing kiosks that line the, the, the path between East and West Beach on Rayleigh Island. It was 500 baht for one person, one way ticket direct from Rayleigh Beach to Koh Lanta. There is only one boat a day. It leaves at 10.45 in the morning and takes two hours. So I'm looking forward to this. At, uh, beautiful day, the sea is calm, should have a lovely journey. Now, to get to the boat, first, half an hour before the boat's due to arrive, so 10.15, you arrive to this spot on the beach, where you gather, dump your bags, there's a little bit of shade, and wait for a boat, to, a smaller boat, to transfer you from the beach to the main ferry which can't access the beach. So, you've got to cart all your bags, you will get your feet wet getting to the little boat, um, so wear sandals or, or take something off or something you don't mind getting wet and yeah, carry your bags, dump them in the little bag. You then take out just a little five minute ride to the main ferry where again your bags are handed up, dumped in a big tarpaul on the deck, you climb up and then you're on the main ferry. But there is a toilet on the boat but there is no shop so take some water and drinks and some snacks just to get you through the journey. It's a beautiful journey, it's very relaxing as long as the weather's calm. There is some seating inside which is aircon and a little bit cooler um, or you can just find a spot and, spot and sprawl on the deck like most people catch some sun or you can do what I did which is wander around, take videos, photographs and admo admire the beautiful scenery <coughs> After a very nice two hour journey, you will arrive at Koh Lanta. Now when you're dropped off at the port, um, you come off the boat and there will be a small crowd of people waiting to 
They give you accommodation, taxi rides, tuk-tuk rides, trips, boat rental, bike rental, all waiting for you to get their little bit of commission. Ignore them unless you really need them. But better is just go push past them a little bit. They will block the way so you can barely get through with all your bags and not jostling them like I did. Um, just go past them. Once you get clear of them, if you look on your right, there's this little alley, small road that runs the right hand side along the waterfront. Now that road is where you want to get yourself sorted. Along there it is lined with a few cafes and places to eat and drink if you're hungry after your trip. Um, there's places to rent motorbikes, places to arrange trips and even transfers from there. So I wander down there, look at a few rates. Um, there was motorbikes out front to rent so I find some, found some nice looking uh, motorbikes, some newish ones in good condition and negotiated a rate. I got a motorbike for 200 baht a day, loaded up my bags. I did have to leave my passport or security. That is something to be aware of when you go a lot of these motorbike rentals. You will have to deposit your passport as security for not damaging or stealing the bike. So check the bike's condition and check it somewhere that you feel safe and trustworthy with. It's going to look after your passport. Um, left my passport. I grabbed my bike, got my helmet, loaded my bags off and went off to find my accommodation on Colander. Hi! Oh, made it from the port, picked up my rental bike, found my accommodation and checked in. And let me show you around my new little accommodation for the next few days on Colander. A private little chalet on a private estate, not far from the beach. I'll walk down there later and show you. There's my rental mic, and here is my accommodation. Now, I think this is $30 a night. It's got a little uh, veranda to sit on, and then a nice big bed. There's a TV right here. It's the bathroom, clean, toilet, pets, power shower. It's all Centrally located, should do me nicely for a couple of days. Now, well, that's big and spacious, and hopefully cool for me to sleep in tonight. And I just have to go down the road there to the beach. Anyway, let's unpack, freshen up, and we'll go on a little explore and show you what the local beach is like. Welcome to Koh Lanta. Just a five minute walk from my accommodation, which is just off the beach, as usual. Nice quiet location, got a swimming pool as well. Just walk down to Long Beach. It's a bit cloudy now, but let me show you my first view of the beach from Koh Lanta. <laughs> There's a turtle cafe, turtle bar, the fat turtle beach bar and restaurant. Got accommodation here. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get much of a sunset, but I'm gonna get a nice view over the beach. Cold drink because it's still really warm. Well, there's a little massage parlor here, a little massage place, of course. And here is the beach. Wow, wow. Oh, that's beautiful. That's a big beach too. Oh, great view down the beach. Hmm. Right. Welcome to Koh Lanta. Let's get a drink and see you on our first day tomorrow. We'll go exploring. 